All right, here we are SSHing into the Raspberry Pi. And what's really awesome about this is that um, I was able to do this uh, with the help of my friend, from my friend Richard, I was able to do this without plugging the Raspberry Pi into a monitor. So this basically means that um, the Raspberry Pi is quote unquote headless, or I am just connecting it directly to this computer. Um, without having connected it to another monitor and configuring any of the files. So I can do all of the setup and basically turn this into my own server or like a digital free library, um, whatever I want. So, but first we need to check and make sure that we are able to connect to the internet through our Raspberry Pi. So I'm like, hey, what's up, Google? Send me five packets and tell me what's up. And oh no, it's like unknown host Google. What? That's crazy. So basically that tells me that my Raspberry Pi is not connected to the internet. So what I can do is I can go to my network connections, uh, which you get to from settings. I can click ethernet and then Wi-Fi, select both of them, and then right click and choose bridge connections. Um, if you are not on the admin uh, uh, user, you will need to input the admin password to do so. Fortunately, I know what that is for this computer. Um, and then it will create a network bridge between the Ethernet, which is how I'm connecting to my Raspberry Pi, and the Wi-Fi, which is how this computer is connecting to the rest of the internet world. Um, so since it has to bridge that connection, it basically resets so that forces me to SSH back into the Raspberry Pi, but it's no problem because we have this nice IP address called raspberrypi.local, which is really easy to remember versus a series of numbers. Then I can log back in using my super secret password, which I changed from Raspberry, which you also should do. Oops, sorry, I keep bumping the camera. Um, but anyway, so now I can go ping Google, give me some messages, please. And it's like, oh, hey, what's up? It's sending me five packets of data from Google.com. So basically, it's like, yay, I'm all connected to the internet. And then I can do all of the good things uh, that you can do on the Raspberry Pi. Um, I need to update it. So I'm going to go ahead and update that. Um, so that's a good uh, rule of thumb to do. So, yep, there you go. That is how you can SSH into the Pi and bridge it to Wi-Fi and all without the use of any extra computer peripherals. Yay! Heck yeah! All right, so um, hopefully that helps you all with your headless connection for the Raspberry Pi. Let me know if you have any questions, and happy building and happy hacking. Woohoo!